Hey there, Boom Hour 144 here. Um, I wanted to make a quick arena video uh, specifically about offense because um, we've been making some progress here with this defense that I've laid out right here. Um, <clears throat> we can get more into the defense uh, another time, especially if uh, this actually does get into the top 500. I'll go more in depth on this. Um, I want to talk about offense though because this is a good example of looking at a matchup which is favorable to you. Um, so you can see my defense is about just under 13 million might. And I was just beat by somebody who is about 14.5 million might. So significantly higher. Um, some pretty scary heroes in here. But you have to consider the matchup. Um, so Phoenix does most of my damage, and they only have one hero here, Lady M, who is problematic for Phoenix. And Lady M is also possible to play around, um, yeah, and use some strategy. So I'm going to challenge this, and let's see how it goes. Um, this is a lineup that you might normally avoid, because you can find uh, lower might defenses to face instead. Um, but I'm hoping that this proves it's not all about might. Um, you want to look for a favorable matchup. So let's give this a try. Um, this is my offense. You'll notice it's a little different than the defense. Um, specifically, Ulrich is on uh, my offense because he lowers defense minus 44%. Um, and you'll see how that works in just a minute. Okay, so... Um, out of their heroes, there's nobody that I really want to target first. Um, Myers is just going to absorb a lot of the damage initially because he's in the middle. Yeah, he's going to do what he does, and that effect is not, not very scary. So Lady M just went off. So if I had Phoenix at full rage, what I would want to do is wait. Um, one of the things that Lady M does, you notice, um, if I actually click on her. So one of the things she does is all allies gain immunity from new negative effects for two rounds, meaning that if I used Phoenix now, um, they would not get ignited. <laughs> so obviously I do want them ignited. Um, but that really points to the weakness in this lineup. They don't have any way to heal Ignite once they're ignited. Yeah, and also because they had their Myers activated, um, notice that the their Phoenix actually just missed my Phoenix when hitting. So um, Myers is a, a double-edged sword. Um, they should have a phoenix or uh, a hero like um, uh, Fox or Mantis to go along with the Myers. Okay, so now um, the Lady M effect is off. So what we can do is lower their defense with Ulrich, hit with Phoenix, do some damage, and the Ignite is not going to be healed at any point. And when it wears off, there's going to be a blast effect. Um, which is the first thing there. Deals damage when continuous effect wears off. So, looks like I probably want to try to heal. So I'll try to get either Fox or Eve up to Rage. So Fox is on Rage now. So when Myers and Fox are both Raged, you want to Rage Myers, who raises your attack, but also lowers your hit. And then if you Rage Fox afterwards, you heal the negative hit effect. So as we're going here, notice how much their health is going down from the Phoenix uh, Ignite. And it'll go down even more once the blast effect happens. Um, so I'm not going to use Phoenix again now because there's two rounds left until this blast effect happens. And that'll reset the clock if I use Phoenix again right now. So I'm going to wait. All right, so we got Eve. So Eve will provide some healing. The other nice thing that Eve does is you notice the rage regen rate goes up by 24%. So 
So we're just going to hang out for a minute. Um, again, they had no way to heal the, um, the Phoenix blast effect. So notice they're all almost dead now. Um, a frame did st stun my Phoenix right before dying. <laughs> okay, so they used Lady M, so we're not going to use Phoenix. We're just going to wait two rounds. Okay, so they do not have the immune to new negative effects. And we have Myers and Fox rage now, so we can Myers, Fox, and Phoenix has been building her attack this entire time. So if you look at her attack now, instead of 3,083, it's that plus 4,932 um, due to the Myers buff plus her own buff over time. So it's actually about 8,000 now after all this time. Yeah, does a lot of damage. And again, all we have to do now is just wait for the blast effect to win the match for us so again a pretty high might lineup here that i could just tell was a good matchup uh, we didn't lose any of our heroes here um, so we just want to get phoenix i mean uh, eve down so we'll do a couple things to help increase our damage attack with myers and negative defense with uh, ulrich Uh, Phoenix is close to raging, so let's just go ahead and build that up, and then we'll finish it off. Yeah. So, pretty uh, pretty straightforward match because of the matchup, uh, not because of Might. So when you go through this and do the challenges, don't just look at Might. 11.1, um, this is probably going to be a good lineup. <laughs> let's just take a look at it. Uh, the lag in this game is terrible. Yeah, this is a very common lineup that you see, which is extremely hard to beat. Um, what happens with this lineup is a frame is right in the center, so he rages a lot, and his rage speed is also pretty fast. Um, so he stuns your team and then also lowers their defense, and then their phoenix hits right afterward and does huge damage. Um, meanwhile, Eve and Fox are helping heal them so they don't lose their fo their um, uh, Phoenix. And then, yeah, it, it's a really difficult lineup to beat, which is why they have such high points despite being low might. So, key lesson here, look at the matchup in addition to the might. Thank you.